Hello. Uh, today I am going to discuss about the design of plug and slot weight. In last three lectures, we have discussed about fillet wells and then butt wells. And I have told that three type of wells are there: fillet weight, butt weld, and uh, uh, plug weld or slot weld. Now, plug weld and slot weld is nothing but a type of fillet weld. As I have told earlier also that uh, in case of plug or slot weld, we are facing problem of limited distance, limited length of the joint. If the length of joint is limited and if we have higher values of tension or compression force, then it is difficult to adjust that entire length on this limited joint. So, in that case we have to cut some portion of the overlapping portion in terms of slot or plug to make adjust of that additional length. Now, if we see here in case of plug or slot weld if we see here that here we have limited length say L right. So, here we will get only this much length and this say if it is L 1, L 1 and L 2 then total length we are getting L 1, L 2 plus 2 L 1 right. So, if we get the L w value means required length is more than L, then it is difficult to adjust because our length is limited, this L1 is fixed. So, to adjust the limited length, in the limited length to adjust this, we make some cut of the overlapping portion. We cut some uh, portion in terms of slot or plug and then fill with the welded material. And this is how we increase the strength and accommodated the additional uh, additional length. So, if we see the a slot is cut in one of the overlapping member and the welding metal is filled in the slot. Now, what is slot and what is plug? When the slot is small and completely filled with weld metal then it is called plug weld. That means, if it is completely filled with the weld metal, then this type of slot is called plug weld. But, if the periphery of the slot is filled with weld metal, then it is called slot weld means periphery in this case. Periphery is filled with weld metal, that is why it is called slot weld. But, when it is completely filled with the weld metal, then this is called plug weld. This is how slot weld and plug weld has a difference. Now, in IS 816 1969 certain specifications are given which we need to follow for design of plug or slot weight. So, what are the specification we need to see which is given in IS 816 1969. So, first the width or diameter of the slot should not be less than 3 times the thickness of the part in which the slot is formed or 25 millimeter which is greater. This we have to keep in mind that is the slot diameter or width slot diameter means when we are making a slot. So, this diameter or this is width this diameter slot diameter or width should not be less than 3 times the thickness of the part in which the slot is formed or 25 mm at least 25 mm. So, this diameter will be at least 25 mm or at least 3 times the thickness of the part in which the slot is made. So, this is what we have to remember and the diameter of the slot has to be fixed in this way. Another thing is the distance between the edge, edge of the part and edge of the slot or plug or between the adjacent slot or plug should not be less than 3 times the thickness of thinner member 
or 25 mm whichever is greater. Now, if we draw the uh, things then it will be clear. Say suppose we have a slot here and because of this limited distance we have to make some slot. So, if we see so first point is telling that the diameter or width this has to be should not be less than 3 times the thickness of the uh, plate in which slot has been done at least it should be more than 3 times the thickness of the plate. Right, this is one point. Second point it is telling the distance between edge of the part and edge of slot that means distance between edge of part or edge of slot like this or adjacent to slots should not be less than 3 times the thickness of thinner member or 25 this is also. So, this distance if we say call d dash then d dash also has to be less than 3 times or 25 whichever is less here also 3 times or 25. Then another point we have to remember corner at the enclosed ends should be rounded to a radius not less than one and half times the thickness of the upper plate or 12 mm whichever is greater. So, corner at the enclosed end means at the enclosed end we have to make the rounded corner with a radius not less than one and half times the thickness of the upper plate or 12 mm thickness whichever is greater. Right. So, these three points we have to keep in mind and the design stress on a plug or soil oil will be same as that in fillet oil and is specified in clause 10.5.7.1.1 of IS 800 2007. So, as I told that design criteria will be same as we, we have done in case of fillet oil because this is nothing but a type of fillet oil only thing is because of limited distance we had to uh, introduce some slot. So, that the additional length are adjusted. Now, with this we will go through some example, so that we can understand how to design a slot weld uh, with the codal provision whatever we have understood means whatever we have discussed and then uh, we will be designing the member. So, for this case we have a problem like this that is an ISMC 300 at 363 Newton per millimeter is used to transmit a factor force of 800 kilo Newton. The channel section is connected to a 12 mm thick gusset plate. So, channel section is connected to a 12 mm thick gusset plate. Design a fillet oil connection if the overlap is limited to 300 mm. So, overlap distance is limited to 300 mm we cannot make more than that. So, use slot weld if required and assume site welding. So, with this data let us try to design the slot weld. So, if we see this is a channel section and say suppose we have limited distance of say this is 300 mm available distance is 300 mm means overlapping distance and it is carrying a load of 800 kilo Newton. 
tensile force of 800 kilometer kilo newton and ISMC 300 right. This is the channel section and it is connected to a gasset plate which have thickness of 12 mm thick. Right. Now, we have to design a fillet well to adjust this. So, what we will do? We will try to first find out the properties of ISMC 300 that is what will be the area say 4630 we can find out from SP 6 area as 4630. Now, thickness of flange is 13.6 mm and thickness of wave is 7.8 mm. So, from this the thickness of wave is 7.8 mm. So, maximum size of weld we can find out maximum size which is allowed maximum size of weld will be 7.8 mm minus 1.5 as per clause 10.5.8.1 that will be 6.3 mm and minimum size will be minimum size of the weld will be 3 mm from table 21. So, weld size is varying from 3 to 6.3 we can assume the size of the weld as in between say 6 mm. Right. So, size of the weld we are assuming as 6 mm. So, throat thickness T e effective throat thickness will be k into s that will be 0 0.7 into 6 4.2 mm. So, strength of weld per millimeter we can find out. this will be f u by root 3 gamma m w into t. So, that will be 410 by root 3 the site well. So, gamma will, m w will be 1.5 into t e as 4.2. So, we can find out as 663 Newton per millimeter. Right. So, if strength of weld is known, now required length we can find out. Required length of weld we can find out that is P by this weld strength, P is the factor load which is 800 kilo Newton by weld strength 663. So, from this we can find out 1207 millimeter and maximum weld length which can be available maximum weld length maximum available weld length this will be 300 as uh, maximum overlapping distance is 300. So, 300 into 2 plus ISMC 300. So, depth is 300 mm. So, this will be uh, 900 mm which is less than 1207 mm. So, we have to put some slot weld because 900 mm is the distance which is less than the available length available uh, sorry uh, required length is 1207 mm and we need uh, we need 1207 mm length and we have available 900 mm length. So, extra length we need is 
additional length we have to this extra length we have to adjust that is 1207 minus 900 so 307 okay now let us provide two slots we can provide some slot say two slot let us provide of width as we have seen from the codal provision minimum width will be 25 mm so 25 mm or 3 t 25 mm or 3 into t t is 7.8 so that is coming 23.4 whichever is greater so 25 and 23.4 so width we can find out as 25 mm right so and length we can find out if uh, if we find out length is this way if this is x right this is 300 this is 300 and we have available length as 900 and we have to adjust additional length of 307 mm and this 25 mm width of slot if we use and if we use say uh, 4 slot means 2 slot. So, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4 total 4 that means additional length if this is x so 4 x will be equal to 307 mm. So, I can find out x as 76.75 mm x as 307 by 4 so 76.75. So, we can provide say 80 by 80 mm by 25 mm slots. and this is two numbers two in numbers ok. So, now this is over means when we are doing the example up to this it is fine, but when we have to give for drawing we have to give the details. So, uh, in terms of drawing we have to make it say for example, this is the slot weld say this is channel section and this is what cassette plate was. and this is 300 this overlapping distance was 300. So, we are providing welding here sorry weld here so this distance are coming 900 and along with this we are providing distance of this x which were 80 mm. So, this is 80 80 mm and we can as we have calculated this is 25 mm diameter of slot or with and this total is 300. So, uh, we can provide a at least a distance of 50 mm and so 50 plus 25 plus 20 100. So, here we can provide 100 mm and here also we can provide 100. So, this this will be the distribution or we can change means we can increase this value 
and decrease this also or equally we can distribute. So, this will be the sketch of the uh, slot weld and we have to provide to the site engineer in terms of this right. So, this is all about the design of slot weld or plug weld. Now, as we have time, we will go through another example, which I have discussed in last lecture. In case of bar weld, when or uh, in bar weld lecture, we have discussed that is uh, how to calculate the equivalent stress of the uh, oil joint, means uh, when it is under shear and normal stress or shear or bearing and normal stress. So, how to check that uh, design strength of the joint when it is subjected to uh, axial tension or compression bending and shear. So, I will go through one example with this. Example is this that a pipe of 100 mm diameter and 8 mm thickness is connected to a 16 mm thick plate with fillet weld. It is subjected to a vertical factor load of 10 kilo newton at a distance of 0.5 meter from the welded end. It is also subjected to a factor twisting moment of 3 kilo newton meter. Find the size of the weld assuming soft welding and steel of grade to be 410. So, this is the problem we will be going to solve. So, if we draw the diagram, you can see that uh, a pipe is attached to a steel plate and the diameter of the pipe is given. diameter of the pipe is at uh, 100 mm diameter and this thickness thickness was 8 mm 8 mm thick pipe of 100 mm diameter and a load is acting say p of 10 kilo newton acting at a distance of 0.5 meter. 0.5 meter distance it is acting and another twisting moment a twisting moment is also acting in this direction say t is equal to 3 kilo newton per meter 3 kilo newton meter. So, twisting moment is also acting right. So, now we have to find out the equivalent stress and we have to check whether uh, the oil joint whatever has been made is ok or not right. So, here first we will find out that as the grade of steel is FU uh, FE 410. So, FU we can find out as 410 MPI and for shop welding gamma m w is 1.25. So, permissible stress permissible stress stress means shear stress will be a few by root 3 gamma m w this will become 189.37 by root 3 into gamma m w is 1.25. This is becoming 189.37 sorry this is 410 189.37 Newton per millimeter square. So, 
permissible shear stress of the weld has been calculated as 189.37. Now, here we have to find out the polar moment of inertia also. Polar moment of inertia can be calculated as I p for circular pipe it will be 2 pi r cube into t if t is the throat thickness or effective thickness of the weld then we can find out 2 into pi into r means here it is 50 into t. So, this will be 7 8 5 3 9 8 t millimeter therefore, so polar moment of inertia we can find out. Now, also because it will be uh, means the pipe will be under twisting moment under moment and under shear means this oil joint. So, three type of stress will come into picture one is due to moment another is due to shear and another is due to torsion or twisting. So, first we will try to find out. So, uh, here three type of forces are there one is direct load that is 10 kilo Newton which will act as a shear to the weld another is moment with is P into E that will be 10 into 0.5. So, this is 5 kilo Newton meter this moment and twisting moment was given 3 kilo Newton meter right. Now, we can find out the stresses say for example, first shear stress shear stress uh, shear stress due to direct load say q 1 I can find out that will be p by 2 pi r t. So, this will be 10 into 10 q by 2 into pi into r into t. So, this is coming 100 by pi t or 31.83 by t Newton per millimeter square. So, shear stress due to direct load we can find out. Next we will find out the shear stress due to twisting moment. Shear stress due to twisting moment q 2 I can find out as T by I p into r. So, T is 3 into 10 to the 6 Newton millimeter r is 50 and I p is 7853988. So, I can find out as 191 by T Newton per millimeter square. Then another stress will come that is normal stress due to bending, normal stress due to bending that is m by i z into y, y in this case it is maximum will be r. So, m we have calculated as 5 kilo Newton meter that means, 5 into 10 to the 6 r is 50 and i z z we have calculated which is i p by 2. So, that is 3926.99 t. So, this is becoming 636.62 Newton per millimeter square. Okay. So, shear stress due to direct load shear stress due to twisting and normal stress due to bending has been calculated. So, three type of stresses are acting together. Now, we have to find out the equivalent stress. Now, first we, have, we will find out the resultant stress means resultant shear stress, shear stress. Resultant shear stress Q will be basically root over q 1 square plus q 2 square, because uh, in the circular pipe the no, uh, one shear stress is acting along this due to normal force p and due to torsion another stress is acting in this way. So, resultant stress 
means this is q 1 if this is q 2 then q the resultant shear stress will become this q 1 is 31.83 by t plus 191 by t right. So, from this we can find out as 193.6 by t Newton per millimeter square this is the shear stress and we have normal stress. So, equivalent stress equivalent stress F e we can find out that will be F a square plus 3 q square. So, if we put this value we can find out F a was 636.62 by t plus 3 into 193.6 by t square. So, this will be the equivalent stress. So, equivalent stress if we calculate we will get this value as if he as 861.75 by t per minute. Now, this F e has to be less than the oil strength means allowable strength in oil. So, if we make equal then we can find out the value of T right. So, this F e should be less than or equal to F u by root 3 gamma m w that means, this is 189.37. So, 861.75 by t should be less than or equal to 189.37. So, from this I can find out t should be greater than or equal to 4.55 mm or s should be greater than or equal to t by 0 0.707 that means 6.4. So, S we can find out as S we can find out as 7 millimeter. So, the size of the fillet weld we can consider as 7 millimeter right. If we provide size of the weld as 7 millimeter then the joint can withstand the external load whatever it has given. So, in this example what we have seen? that we have shear stress and normal stress. We have two type of shear stress. So, shear stress we have made equal and we have also normal stress. Then we found the equivalent stress and it has to be less than the oil strength which is 189 Newton per millimeter square and from that criteria we can find out the minimum required oil size and in this case we can find the size of oil has to be at least 7 mm right. So, in this few lectures we have discussed about the different type of connections uh, starting from rivet connection to voltage connection and then finally, oil connection again in oil connection fillet and butt oil has been discussed and uh, design criteria has been discussed how to calculate the design strength of the fillet oil and butt oil those things we have discussed and accordingly we have solved certain number of examples. I hope this will clear the uh, it will clear our uh, design methodology how we have done and uh, we will be able to design different type of joint using bolt or weld. Thank you very much.